All right, this is why I'm here with a blind Let's Play for Mining and Tunneling Simulator. That means I have no idea what the game is. I'll probably do a gameplay video, which is me talking about what the game is and showing it off in the video description if I have it done. Anyways, this is blind, so I really don't know much about it. I have kind of done the tutorial. Like, it goes so fast right here. Just look at this. Welcome to the Mining and Tunneling Simulator tutorial. The game is divided into three stages. It's gone already. Like, I didn't click any buttons, it's just that's the timing it's set at. After that many seconds, it disappears. So what I did is I was already recording it once, and I'm like, that's too fucking fast. I have no idea what it said. So I went ahead, just paused, like looked at the video I recorded, and saw how what it said. So it's just telling you these are the controls, WASD to move, and you can hit R to reset your vehicle. And that um, there's basically three stages. So I'm, I'm looking, I see like a compass in the bottom right, so I'm just going to you know, go to the compass. Alright, then this one I haven't actually read yet, so it says, Use the utility van to locate and place explosive charges. Watch the radar and wait for the TNT icon to appear. Oh, well there's a TNT icon, so wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, once you've located the right spot on which to place a charge, the action icon, a flashing green button on the top center of the screen, with an F, will appear. You can activate this by pressing the F key. Alright. Uh, wait. Oh, wait, okay, hold on, let me keep reading. Or by clicking the icon on your screen, keep holding the key or your mouse until the button, until the progress bar at the bottom of the screen is 100%. After the action is complete and the charge has been placed, all right, progress bar will display an overall progress of the blasting. So then we go to the next one. All right, I got this now. One thing I am noticing: there's a lot of motion blur. Look at this. Whoa. That's a lot of motion blur. All right, let's uh. So what's the star? You can't. Oh. Oh, I see. The star is like a general area type of thing, I guess. All right, let's back it into the spot. All right, so I'm just assuming you can imagine a guy walking out there placing some explosives really fast and then jumping back in. Alright, so about halfway now. Over halfway. What an odd number. What kind of number are they making you do if it raises by like 15%? I don't know. That's, that doesn't seem right. It shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't raise by 15%. Oh man, I'm still rolling. I gotta backtrack. Couldn't they have just done them in, maybe, oh wait, no, I did pass some, I think, so maybe it's just whichever is closest or something? I don't know. Oh, now it's doing 14% up. Probably like 14 point something percent, that's why. So I guess I planted 7? Because 100 divided by 7 is, uh... Around 14%. Like a really rough estimate, so. I'm just going to that thing on the radar. I don't actually know why. It's also, let me read this real quick. All the explosive charges have been placed. Remove all vehicles from the demolition area and drive the utility van to the main office marked on the radar. Once you arrive at the main office, you'll be able to execute the action to detonate the explosives. So I want to watch this. So actually, I can move the camera too. Uh, so there we go. Go ahead and get a little closer. All right. Wait, Timmy's over there. We gotta go get Timmy. Okay, we almost put the Timmy up. I don't know. All right, that's blown up. All right, all right. Let's see. Use the front loader key four. So is that the number pad? Yeah. Okay. All right. To load the leftover rocks from the blast onto the dump truck key three and transport them to the dump area marked on the radar. Okay. So um, then I have one question here. Where's the dump truck? Oh, the dump truck. Well, I guess we should move the dump truck. Is there a camera of sorts? I don't know. One thing I should point out real quick, too, is um, the controls for this game. Usually, I would look up the controls before I do a blind let's play. That's the controls screen for you. Uh, speaking of controls, uh, if you try to play this with a multi-monitor setup, this game will not catch the mouse no matter what. So if you actually, oops, pull your mouse off the screen and click, <laughs> you're just going to be going into your other window. Uh, that's no good. So. 
Pro tip, don't run this on a multi-monitor system. If you do, just switch it to duplicate temporarily or unplug one of them or something. So, we'll put this over around here. And then we can bring the front loader over. And it says T, G, Y, and H. So, T moves it up and down. All right. Y, I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, Y and H do the angle of the loader. So, all we got to do is we got to go over here and pick up the rocks and shove them in the dump truck, I guess. And it looks like you use T and G to use the dump truck as well. Okay, this is... Okay. <laughs> what the hell? I can't seem to go in a straight line. Alright, hold on. It's like these tires have no grip. <laughs> I was just like... Sli what am I hitting? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I probably lowered it too much. That's probably what happened. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. I lowered that too much, so I had no grip on the tires. Yeah, this is this is, this feels different. Like I'm all trying to intentionally swerve now, but that's different. All right. So let's see here. We go ahead and how are we gonna do this? So you kind of I gotta figure out the physics here. I mean, you can kind of push the rocks. So let's just try to get one. So we got two. I can't angle this up anymore, but I feel like they're going to fall out if I don't try to raise it or something. All right, so we got two rocks in. That's going to be a lot of rocks to remove. Let's try to... Oh, oh, oh. Hit the back a bit. That's all right. And we'll take these... Th we could probably move the dump truck up a bit, you know. I wasn't you know, necessarily putting it there per permanently. It was just a temporary placement for it, so... This control is a little unusual. I will say that. I think I could get used to it, though. It's not as bad as some games like Woodcutter Simulator. Because the steering is more snappy here, so I'm able to manage it a bit easier. Alright, and let's try to make sure that... There we go. Alright, let's just spin this around real quick. And, come on, just perfect, there we go. Now we can move the dump truck up a bit. I'm just going to have it a nice closer so I don't have to move as much distance. Let's put it about there, that should work. Now, does this say you have to remove every rock, or let's see. Well, it doesn't specify an amount, but maybe. That's a lot of rocks. It is a simulator, though, so what you going to do? <laughs> Alright, this may be a bit too low, but oh well. We'll see what happens. Apparently it's fine because I'm pushing the rocks still. There we go. Oh! Stop accelerating! It's going too far. Alright, so we'll go ahead and... Alright. kind of feel like I could... Oh, oh, yeah. I wish I could tip the... Uh the loader just a little bit more back because it feels like the rocks aren't quite stable I feel like they're gonna fall out the front so I just gotta be gentle when I'm carrying them it's always funny to me in games where like the rocks just bounce around everywhere like they weigh nothing like this game is just like these are huge fucking boulders that weigh hundreds of pounds probably they just kinda bounce around it's just they seem so light it's funny so let's raise this as high as we can Whoop, should keep raising it, because I'm hitting the dumpster. Alright. And we can go ahead and drop it in. Hopefully none of them miss. It's a little off-center. You make it? Ah! Go! Go! Get in there. How about... Oh, I'm hitting the dump truck. Oh, well. I don't think it matters too much, does it? Alright, there you go. And I guess I'll go ahead and... Oh, one of them fell. Oh, well. Shit happens. Go ahead and get in the dump truck, and we'll go ahead and try to... Just look at like what happens when I dump these rocks, basically. So we'll back out of here. And try to slowly spin around, because I don't want these rocks. Well, the rocks seem more stable than the dump truck. Huh. It's unusual. I wonder if the rocks... 
They're really stable in the dump truck for some reason. Alright, I'm good with that. It's a weird difference, but I'm good with that. They never explain the camera controls, so all I know to do is just I can click and spin. I'm not sure if there's like any camera differences zooming in and out. I can do a scroll wheel, actually. I was trying to only zoom out before, but you can zoom in. I don't know really why you'd want to. If anything, you'd want to zoom out so you can see your whole vehicle. Oh, no, I'm hitting the brakes. Oh. All right, that's why I dump them, I guess. I almost just drove right off that ledge. I guess that's why that that, that's, that very, very low bar is there. It's I guess it stops you, though. I don't know if I trust it, even though it already stopped me once, but... Okay, so then, with T and G, I can, oh, I can raise this. And the rocks are stuck. Oh, there they go. They just kind of clipped through. Come on, rocks. Oh, what? Get in there. There we go. Alright, so that's, that's, okay. Yeah, I don't have to do all the rocks, because that's 36%. That was no way, there was no way that was a third of them. That's actually... I don't know if it really matters, but I don't feel like driving around with the dump truck fully open and extended. So are there physics when you collide into stuff like that? Nope. Oh yeah, yeah, it fell over. That's cool. Okay, so I just gotta do two more loads like that. That's reasonable. So if I switch vehicles while it's moving, does it just... Oh, they seem to stop pretty good. So I can use that to my advantage because the brakes are a little delayed on these things. Because they're so heavy, it takes them a minute to stop. So if I'm like about, I'm on a crash course or something, I just switch vehicles. So I gotta turn this around. Alright, that's fully lowered. I think I gotta... Change the angle still, but it's... Oh! Ow! Oh. It stuck out a bit more than I thought it was. Alright, so it's fully lowered. Yep. Go ahead and make it a little... And let's try to grab some rocks! I think it's bad angle still, but we got some of them. So go ahead and... Oh! We got a couple of rocks. That's good. No, I'm afraid to close the tutorial window because I don't know if that's like I'm done with the tutorials or if it's a uh, I'm done with this tutorial message. So for now, I'm leaving them up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! See, the rocks feel so weightless, just like the the, the me stopping almost made them fly out. Oh man, I could barely make that turn. Whew, I think I made it. I can't see the wall. Oh, now I'm not even... Whew. It's going to take me a minute to get used to this thing. Controls very uh, skiddly. So we raise this as high as we can. Get it pretty close and dump. Perfect. Actually, before we move on, make sure... Yep, they're all in there. I really want to mine some interior views for these, though. I, I want to find the, the button. If there is one. So we lower this all the way. Is it lowered all the way? No, keep going. Okay. Whoa. Okay, well now it's scraping the ground, but that's alright. I'm not too concerned about that. All better to get rocks with, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's no good. I think I was going at that too fast. So slow down just a bit. Alright, maybe we get these rocks, because I, I seem to be going in a straight line whether I like it or not. Alright. Ah! Oh, damn it. I don't want to be on top of the rocks. I want to get under them. And I, I don't think this thing... Oh, it wasn't all the way down. I thought it was all the way down already. What the... So now I have it too far down. Alright, so there we go. 
Oh, uh, come on. I don't know about this thing. It's light. It's just... Feels like those front tires have no grip. Psh. There we go. Got to churn a bit. Let's try these rocks again. Maybe this is touching too much. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Lower this a bit. It sounds terrible whenever I actually do manage to pick some up. It's just like a crashing of rocks. And... Oh, too many rocks. I'm starting to tip. Okay. Oh my god, I got so many rocks. They don't feel so weightless anymore. I gotta, I gotta try to move this as slow as I can, really. Don't want none of those falling out. Let's do it from this view. That should be nice. Look at those clipping through. Uh, I knew that would happen. I'm sliding. All right, there we go. It's fine. All right, wait, let's try to get up, line myself up. All right, let's see here. About. Hopefully, they'll make it in from this angle. Raise it all the way. And dump. It seems like you could raise it, I mean, a, a little higher than, you know, like some other games usually allow you. Oh, I was too far forward. No. Only like one of them made it. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, since it is partially full, might as well take these rocks out and then dump them away. I might have to do four trips now, but it'll work out all right. Why is it zoom in so much? Like, why would you ever play it from this view? Like, you were just... I don't like this view at all. I, I wanted to zoom out more. Look at the motion blur on the rocks. Like, that is motion blur, right? Yeah, when they stop, they're motion blurring even though they're moving at the exact same speed and momentum as you. Alright, so we go ahead and hopefully I can make this turn a little uh, poor of an angle. Alright, that's good. Okay, go ahead and dump this. I, I could just back up and touch that then. Whoa, zooming in for no reason. Why is it zooming in for no reason? All I'm doing is holding the dump button. Oh, one of the rocks didn't make it. Let's try to push it. Let's bring the trailer down first so I can kind of see what I'm doing a little easier. That flap flapping about, that's no help. All right, now let's just try to push it. Like, I'm not sure if it's considered in the area until it's actually... Oh, I can't seem to push it. Oh, well. We tried. I'm not going to try that hard to push it. Since I still am a third of the way exactly. I am confident, probably more than I should be, that I'll be able to make it in one trip. One more trip. Alright, just stop a little farther back. Let's go ahead and lower this thing out. Alright, fully lowered. So I think the way this game is designed though is actually... Oh, never mind. I was going to say it's designed where... That's fully lowered. The way to pick up the rocks and might... Not have to tilt it forward when you do it, but it looks like you do. Hey, hey, hey. I am not loving the way this controls. Feels like I'm driving on ice. Really just feels like you're driving on ice. I'm, a, yeah, it's just, I'm pretty sure it's just because of the damn... The loader hits the ground. The problem is, is, it has to be really close to the ground to pick up those rocks. I'm churning, I'm churning, I'm churning, and I end up going straight. It's annoying me now. Just can't seem to get any... Then it... 
Like over there, it seems like right here, it seems like there's certain spots where it gets grip and certain spots where it slides. I'm assuming it's just because this thing's hitting the ground, but I'm not really sure on that. Well, I got it where I wanted it to, so let's try to make the best use of this I can. Grab some really hefty bunch of rocks. All right, there we go. I don't know if all of them will make it, but that's a good amount. Keep raising it. That's as raised as I'm going to get it. Oh, it's going to, yep. If this was real life, my cabin's glass would be broken. Probably. But then again, I really don't know if a rock would fly out that easily. I mean, it doesn't seem like that steep of an angle. Seems like a lot of get a lot of simulators though. It always like the rocks just seem so ridiculously weightless. Now I've never moved big ass rocks with heavy machinery, but they just always seem so weightless. All right, let's make sure I'm not hopefully uh too far forward this time. So we'll back it up just a bit more. Let me uh, move the camera. Ah, that looks good. There we go. It's only three rocks, but it's a good start. Just do one more load. If I can get more than two, if I can get at least two, it's probably enough rocks. Three is ideal, just to be safe, but not necessary. So we'll just try to stop right here, wait for this thing to fully lower. And go ahead and I mean, I'm going straight, so I don't need to worry about if it's hitting the ground too much. And we just kind of... Oh! Oh, over the rocks now, damn it. Alright, go ahead and lower it just a bit. The angling. So it scrapes the ground a bit more. Just take it a little slower as well. Eh, still doesn't seem low enough, so... Lower it more. Now I'm really having my front wheels off the ground, but... Going in a straight line, so it's okay. There we go. All right, come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, back up just a bit. All right, that works. All right, we'll try to back this up mostly because that top rock seems very unstable. I'm assuming it has more support if I try to do it backwards mostly than trying to go forwards. But I'm not sure on that. I also don't know where the dump truck is. Hold on, let me do it like this. There we go, now I can see the dump truck. I don't know, I'm not feeling these controls for this thing though. It just seems too slippery. Most of the time. Like right now it seems alright. Maybe I've just gotten used to it. Who knows. Let's go ahead and inch forward. There we go. Bring it up a bit more. Okay, I'm going closer just a smidge, and we, you know, maybe a little bit back, actually. So how's that going to... That'll do it. Yeah, that'll make it. A bunch of rocks made that. Oh, some of them look like they're falling out. Let's try to... Sh All right, one of them fell. Oh, two of them fell. Oh, God! Hopefully that's enough. I have my doubts, but hopefully it's enough. This thing seems to control perfectly fine, though. Well, actually, you know what? I would say this thing controls good for what it is. I mean, like, like you feel that this is a big thing that, like, you know, it's not going to stop fast. It's not going to turn that good, but it doesn't feel like it's just on ice like the other, like the loader. All right, I know this is possibly bad, but I'm going to just try to shove that one rock at full speed, see what happens. Okay, that did not work at all. That just damaged this thing. Because now it's yellow in the bottom. That was just foolish. And one of the rocks fell out, so I'll probably need to make another trip now. That was really dumb. Come on, last rock. Oh, come on. Like, I'm really going to just wreck my truck doing this. Watch. 
Oh, what am I supposed to do? I don't want falling out now, though, but I just gotta lower them and then chuck them like this. God. Oh, now that it's going. Alright, that's that. Okay, that was kind of weird how they just stuck. Alright, let's see. Additional blasting stages. Some missions have more than one blasting stage. A single detonation may not be enough to remove all the material that's in the way. Use the utility van key one like you did in the first time. Next place the charges. Okay. I don't know if I should be driving. Let me lower this. Let me just lower this. Oh, whoa. I don't want to reset it. I want to lower it. My hand was off. Okay, vehicle one. Go ahead and, uh... I don't know if I'm supposed to go to the star or the wrench. What is the wrench? Is that like a repair? <gasps> I guess you do put TNT here. I don't know what the hell happened to my... Oh, I'm, I hit the... Oh, is it repairing the vehicle? I guess, I don't know. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe it was stocking more TNT in it? I don't know. Well, okay. I had a safety cone that flipped me over. So much for safety cones being safe. I'm assuming I need to go in the hole to plant the explosives. You know what? Real quick. Yeah. I mean, that, that van also seems to control all right, too. It's just this thing. I think it's mostly the, the, the loader is touching the ground, so the front wheels are lifted, I think. Because it feels fine now, again. Well, actually, I'm going to be exploding more things, so this isn't safe. i got to actually move it all the way out. Probably just to about where that red one should be is fine. Also, I love the uh, never being able to go fully straight because the steering doesn't auto-align. Alright, that'll be safe. It's a pretty rugged vehicle to be able to just kind of, you know, blast sight few minutes ago. And I guess a few hours ago in the game. It's just, it's, it's gone back out there. Alright, only two of them there. Now the tunnel boring will begin. First you need to supply the TBM, tunnel boring machine, with some building material. Use the crane to load some concrete plates into the transport train. Use dashboard buttons or TNG to lift or lower the crane's magnetic head. Use R to resupply or reset crane plates. Am I supposed to blow this up first? I am. I'm just gonna assume I'm supposed to blow this up first because, like, right? Probably. Well, no. What if it? What if that other? Oh, well, you know. Let's just do it. Fuck it. Hope I don't lose. Oh, well, okay, yeah, I had to do that first because I, that stuff just spawned there when I did that. Alright, so let's see. This is the crane. Um. Oh, it moves this way too. Okay. I didn't see that. First. Right, so we're about over that. A little bit of swaying. Yeah, I know it's run out of concrete plates. I haven't put any yet there. Is it actually attached? I didn't get to see all those keys, damn it. Oh. Okay, so you don't... It says magnet, magnetic head, so I was wondering... Oh, it's F. I see it now. I was wondering how you would turn the magnet on and off and stuff, but now I see it. 
Alright, so I guess we just place them on the train. I could just drop it, but yeah, I don't want to do that. It doesn't seem safe. Like, if this is being realistic now, that's not safe at all. You don't want to drop it more than a few inches. Crane control's fine. Oh! Oh, I accidentally hit F. Whoops. Moving my hand across the D... To, from G to D, or, and I just bumped it. Huh? Oh, it's... There we are. Alright, let's not bump it this time. Be a little more careful. Alright. We'll go ahead and lower it down right here. And then we just... Then we detach it. So now the train is being loaded, you can stand concrete plates by pressing key... What is that? Six, I think? The intermissions will also require the TBM to be supplied with fuel. Time can use the TBM... Wait. Beware, only one train at a time can use a TBM train rail. You should try to load as many plates as possible on the train to use the train optimally. Alright, so we just keep loading them, I guess. I don't need to raise it so much. I don't know why I've been raising it so much. I don't know how stable these things will be. That is a genuine concern of mine. Like these don't look very stable, put it that way. That was a little springy. Alright, we'll just load these ones on and then hit six and see what happens. That's a mess. But it's on the train. All right, that train seems pretty stable, though. I could pretty, much, I could really stack things on it. And I'm, I guess I need some that are pretty much. I need to pretty much be constantly sending plates out. So I guess it's uh, okay to just kind of wait. Let's into the TBM control by pressing key eight. All right. Use to operate the TBM. Okay. To operate the switches and buttons. Click on them with the left mouse button. Do this thing? I don't know. Navigate the mouse over the ignition key and press the left mouse button. Ignition key, ignition key. How do you know which is... What's even clickable? So these are clickable. There's like the zooming in and out of the map. I'm assuming this would move left and yeah. That was the ignition key. Is it behind the... I'm not really sure what's pressable and what's not. That's all. I know. I know it's run out. Probably. I'll just go ahead and close this. I hope it comes back. Yeah, there's nothing. What am I supposed to click? That one. Okay. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not. It's that one. There's no labels. Alright. Well, I guess we can... Go back to this thing. Train's coming back, so we can keep placing these. I guess that's going right, right? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed that I had to close the tutorial. Oh! Oh, you could... Okay, yeah, thanks for telling me that you can move that around. I tried to spin it around with the left mouse button. I forgot the right mouse button. There's the ignition key. Yeah, or not. I'm not necessarily sure what can be clicked, but there's a bunch of things down here. So that's on, obviously. This thing is not... I, I don't... Is this... This is not a good tutorial. This is a... I've. 
It's because I closed the fucking tutorial window, isn't it? Oh, you can bring it back. Okay, good. I just realized that was flashing. It's actually covered by my FPS counter. Alright, good. So the TBM is now on, somehow. Now press the forward drive switch, the top switch, and the right of the ignition keys. This one? This one? This one? Can I go back to the other menu uh, thing? Hey. Top switch to the right of the ignition key. So, all right, wait, wait, did, I was reading that. Okay, there we go. Wait, no. Press stop. Then press on, and then... There we go. Okay, I'm figuring this out. Alright, the actual tunnel boring has begun. Good. Make sure TDB, it's regularly... Okay, great, thanks. Okay, gauges now. Four gauges above the key. Great, thanks. I'm gonna just read these on, um... I'm gonna just read these when I edit the video, probably. I barely have any because I, I I barely have any idea what these do. It went so fast right there, and I, like are these even? I guess those aren't real, so it's just this is what you have to worry about. I don't know. I didn't. I don't. I don't know. Now, was there in game to this tutorial, or you can save, I guess. But like, am I supposed to keep boring at the tutorial here? I know what to do if I go. Since I saved multiple times. Let's see. Tutorial miss. You know. So I have to. I do have to finish this tunnel. Okay. I will do that next time. Till then, this is my YBR. I'll see ya.